Hey guys, Swabalik here today and welcome back to Cities Skyline. So last part, I think we did up this island a little bit. So, and, and we did a few other things over the last few episodes because that was sort of all recorded before I went away. So it's always one of those things where it's like, we did a few things all over the place and we sort of need to try and bring it together a bit more now. So what I want to do is looking over here, uh, I still don't know why, I, I don't understand why there's so much crime at this place because the police station is like right there. Like, constantly. They, this actually just disappeared a second ago. It's like, dude, just... I, I don't know. I, I don't know why there's so much... Don't go to that Ikea. You will get mugged, all right? Uh, now, one thing I wanted to do is... Because we got all this cargo stuff going on down here. Uh, I was like, we should probably just connect this road up more directly to this sort of uh, highway connection. Because right now, it's like, to get over there, you have to go back down this road through the roundabout, through this tiny little junction and up that way. I don't know, it doesn't really make much sense to me. Then we could also turn this into more of an industrial area too, because I think we just need more industrial in general. So, uh, I think what I want to do is, number one, I don't like when they turn across the road like that, because that blocks other traffic, so what I'm going to do is upgrade that. There we go, so we're going to upgrade it to a road like that, so that should hopefully stop them turning across, because now they have to come down the end, because there is a median strip in the middle. Uh, I will want to do like a little roundabout here at the end, just so they can turn around. I said little roundabout. Uh, two lane road. No, where's like the one lane? Here we go. One lane road. Like that. And I'm just gonna drag it down so it's not intersecting any of this. Whoops, that is the... I don't want to move the whole port. I want to get the point that's there. Which might prove to be a little bit difficult. Great. If I do nodes though, we might be able to get it. Hang on. Nodes. That one. Oh. That. That. Hello? How can I not get a node that's there? Hello? What? Wait, do we not have a node here? What is this? Is this one? No, there is a node there. How? Help! Help! It won't let me get it. Oh, no. Because then it's going to leave it behind. Uh, maybe it's because it thinks it's part of the building, but it's not. Because I can do it like that. <laughs> okay. Okay. There we go. Let's do that. And then we'll move. Oh, no. Turn off snapping. I thought that might have been useful. Turns out it wasn't. Okay. So that's going to go to there. <laughs> These guys are like going all over the place. Like, what is happening? All right, that's going to go there. Then, I am still going to adjust this anyway, because it's kind of not in the right spot. I'm going to move that in. And I'm wondering if I can... Can I just make this a smaller section? You know, why don't we just... I should have just built it manually. It's going to be better. All right, so it's going to go like this. going to go straight along. That is not going to be like that, obviously. What is this? Is there like 50 different... Oh, did it add another section of road? No, it didn't. I'm confused. What, what, what was that? <laughs> All you have to do is go like straight along to here. What is happening? No, there totally is another section of road in there. Yeah. Okay, that's all I wanted. This is a really simple little turn around there. So then come down this way, go around there, get into this place without, you know, interrupting the rest of the traffic flow. And then in the meantime, I'm trying to figure out where I would want to have another connection going up here. Maybe just here and we just turn this into a roundabout instead. I think that might be the place to go. I will also turn it into a regular road because I wouldn't mind zoning along here somewhere. So... That is what we're going to do. So I'm going to go straight up here. Actually, hang on. Let me have a look at this hill. So I'm going to go here a little bit round because it is a little hilly through here. So we want to make sure we're sort of, I guess, semi following the hill a little bit. Although we're going to go straight down here again. Uh, I guess the question is, where do we join? Maybe down the bottom here. That's probably a good spot anyway. All right, so we're going to go here straight along and a little turn there. Ah, oh, beautiful. And then it's going to come straight along here to there. Okay, now we're going to go roundabout. This is going to be a one lane. One lane might be a little small, but we'll find out. I'll make it a little bit bigger just so it has a bit more space because then we can always upgrade the road if we need to. So that'll go there. And then this one can maybe be not a one lane because that might not be enough. Let's go a two lane Bradfield Highway. No, that's going to be too small. Let's not do that. Let's do it. Where's just like the two lane highway? There we go. Let's do that one. A little bit bigger. How about like that? That should be okay. All right, so we're going to close that, and then we're going to go for the lanes and say that is a left. And then, oop, hello, oop, oop, left. And then left. And then that should hopefully just be good. And then that should also, I guess, take traffic away from this little junction, which is not ideal. So hopefully more people start going this way. Uh, I might up the speed limit on part of that too. So Because th the thing is, this way will actually be quicker and probably preferential because it is faster. So, I might just up the speed limit on this to, I mean, 70 on this tiny road. It's probably fine. 
And I like how there's like a 100 km hour section right here. I might change that. <laughs> That might just be a normal road now, because that seems a little unnecessary. Okay, so that's gonna go there. Then I wanted to actually build up a little bit more industrial through here. So I might just make this section like this. Uh, and then what I would like to do is actually say from this road, you cannot go straight on. You can only go left. Just because... Actually, and on this road, I might... Now, I'm kind of building these roads in the assumption that we're going to get more traffic through here. So that's why I'm going to add another lane there, for example. Uh, and then I'm going to do... not that. I'm going to do that way. Cool. So there's two lanes all the way down here, and then one lane for turning right, one for going forward. All right, so then, yeah. So basically, I kind of did this road so that you don't use it to come through straight that way. If you're trying to get up, you go through the roundabout and then around. I don't know if that's a good idea. I, whatever. Um, we'll find out when it fails. Or it works. And then that'll be great. So, uh, I don't know if I want them turning right there either, actually, from this road, so I might turn that off. Because I don't need to. If you want to get down that road, you'd come this way, and then you can turn through, like, if you're trying to get into this section. So they'll go straight along, they won't be able to turn right in there, that's better. And then from here, we can make this all industrial, which is great! And we'll use smaller roads as well, so this little road will come in the middle. Uh, like this. And then, oh, that's a one-way, did not mean to do that, it needs to be a two-way road, so we can actually get back out again. And then that one can come through to here. And what I'll do... Make sure we actually have this all plumbed in. And then I was going to say, what we'll do is we'll actually fill this in with industrial. And then I'll remove those power lines hopefully in a second. Because uh, that should be good. Alright, so that'll go there. Uh, I do like all the warehouse stuff, but that's kind of... Kind of hard to get a good amount of it. I might, I guess, zone some of these sections because... That might build something good. Uh, as for these other railways, we've also got to figure these out. So, we've got the cargo airport. That can definitely connect up to this rail here somewhere. Uh, and then I guess we probably just want to tunnel maybe through most of this mountain. And then, where do we need to connect? Because this is a passenger line here. And then I guess this is our cargo line. So we really want to connect up... Well, this is just the, the regular train line, so we probably want to connect up to that. Uh, so... Where are we? We're here, and then if we tunnel... I guess if we come out over here somewhere... It's just so hilly through here, so it's kind of like... A, it's not ideal. It's not an ideal place to connect up to the rail, but... See how we go. Uh, I guess we'll connect to the middle here. So what I'm gonna do... Is we're gonna have... A rail... I'm just gonna do this. Uh, and I'll make it the same height as... Oh, hang on, let me just select one. I'll make it the same height as this section.
Okay, so I just spent a bunch of time sort of connecting up all the railway through here. So all the railway to all these places is connected. It sort of just comes down uh, through this and kind of just branches off now. There's not a lot of connections that sort of loop around and come back again because there's not there's not really any point. There's no point delivering from here to here or here to here. Although this can go one way to there, but don't know why it would. It could do though. Uh, so they're all mostly independently connected. They just go up this way and then go either way on that rail up there. So that's sort of all connected. I had to obviously reposition some of these roads. Uh, definitely want to do some more trees or something through here, but obviously we can only do so much because we don't want it to like, you know, get in the way of the airport. That's also a thing. Also speaking of which, I might get rid of some of these just here. Uh, and then this power line... Do we need that? I guess we do need that. That's kind of annoying. Anyway. Uh, oh, actually, I do want to get some garbage collection out this way because it is pretty rough. So it, it's pretty sad out here. <laughs> There's not a lot going on. So I'm going to get a little section that comes out this way. No, I'm not. I'm going to do a little bit further back than that. So I'm going to get a point here. Yeah, there we go. This is going to come along here. I did not realize I was using this median strip road, but... That'll be fine, actually. That's quite good. I do like this. And then we'll go back to our regular road because that was a mistake anyway. Hello? Oh, I'm on workshop roads. There we go. Uh, and then it's gonna go to there. And then it definitely needs to connect through the middle somewhere. I don't want to connect to that bottom road, so I might just go to there. And then we'll sort of figure out where all these go at some other point. But for now, that'll be good. And we're gonna get some garbage recycling. I get, What is this? Boat storage. Ooh. I mean, we don't need this, but it's kind of cool. Uh, so let's get some garbage recycling out here. I'll do it on this road with the median strip because it'll actually be quite handy. So they don't sort of cut across uh, oncoming traffic. Get a couple there and there. And then probably more than that. I mean, we just need... Actually, where, where, what about that super recycler? Where is that? Isn't that one of those buildings that we can get? Is it in here somewhere? Is it like one of these? I swear it was like something. Was it not one of these, like, super recycling centers? What's this? Oh, yeah, Ultimate Recycling Plant. It is this one. Uh, and I'm gonna get the Ultimate Recycling Plant is a monument that can manage huge amounts of garbage and process it to electricity, goods, and raw materials. These products benefit your city or can be exported. Exporting is automatic if needed. Cool. So, it costs us 8000 a week. It costs 750000 But it also is gonna process a lot more. So I'm wondering, maybe we just sort of chuck this out here somewhere. Maybe, let me get rid of these, because we're probably going to, after building this thing, is going to need to reduce some, uh, like, uh, resource as well. Actually, I'm wondering if, th probably putting it here is not the best idea. Maybe on, like, a road that has better highway access, like, the main road over here is probably a better spot for it. Although this might also be bad, but we'll find out. So I'm going to put this here for now, and then we can sort of build up around it. Let's see how much this actually handles. So if we have a look, and now we wait... And it's probably going to need water too, I'm going to assume. Yep, there we go. Uh, okay, I mean, it handles an amount of garbage. Definitely not... Oh, okay, you know what? It is a lot now. It was like sort of there, now it's there. That's pretty good. I mean, but I don't think we need to get rid of our other ones. Although having opened this up now, maybe we should, because we do start making less money. Also, having but having these around the place means because otherwise, I, I assume all the build, like trucks have to leave from this one building, so then I have to drive further. So I feel like still having smaller locations is probably a good thing. Anyway, I'm gonna get some more industrial just zoned around here because I feel like that's also useful. I guess we can get that road back now that we got rid of because that's probably gonna be useful. Uh, and then I'm gonna go from this road. It's gonna come out like this. And then stop being so straight and angled. Uh, get rid of the guidelines. It's going to come down this way along the coast. So this one can come along here a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's going to go there. Uh, this can just come out and then... It's going to join into this road up here, I guess. I know it stops being a median strip like halfway down, but that's okay. I'm wondering if we can get a road... Let's get a one way, because I don't want a bunch of traffic coming through here, but... Let me turn off that as well. Oh, I was hoping that it would... Why did, why, why did it change that road? That was weird. No, I've just stayed... Yeah, stay a median strip there, and then at this point it will sort of split off. Alright, I think I might... Yeah, I did manual like lane assignment there, so I'll say it can also go that way. So in case there are people coming this way don't want to go up, they can do that. Uh, that might be a bad thing at some point. I don't know, but for now that'll be fine. That'll connect through. Uh, there's not... I don't know if there's a reason that I angled it like that, but it is, so just that's what it is. Uh, <laughs> but that's just how it is. Uh, and then I think I might do a two-way... Do I do a two-way through here? Okay, can I get a regular road, please? There we go. Yeah, we'll do a two-way little uh, laneway through the middle. 
So that can all go here. So now what I want to do is instead of like closing stuff down, I wanted to try and balance our income with just building new stuff. Uh, what can we do here? There's gonna be something big we could do there. Oh, the other thing we should do, you guys have been, you guys have been wanting to see is just more like actual specialized industry, which I guess we could probably give a whirl. Uh, oh, water is getting low. I might just go ahead and get another... I mean, water towers are really not a sustainable way to keep getting more water, are they? I mean, they are sustainable. There's not really any problem with it. But I don't think it's the best solution. But we're going to keep doing it anyway. I'm going to put this here. And connect them there. Just next to that building? Sure. There we go. Plenty of water. And wait, are we still good with power and all that? No. Uh... So nuclear, okay, so I've got this nuclear power plant, which is all these separate pieces. Um, it's like this giant thing. I'm going to assume they all produce a bit of power. No, that's decorative. No, no, no. Do any of these produce power? Oh, maybe not. I mean, they might do. Maybe it just doesn't say in here. Uh, oh no, this produces power. The rest is decorative. Okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, do any of these produce power? Okay, so this is our actual power producing section. All right, so this is the nuclear big uh, 2560. Oh, that is actually massive. So that would remove the need. We only have 1,100 production. So we could do a nuclear plant. I mean, this is quite a nice spot out here, but I don't think it's that big. Also, I don't really want it right in the middle. Maybe we should put it. I also don't know what, I don't really know what nuclear power plants look like besides all these individual parts that we have. Where could we put it? Let's have a look. So, uh, we've got... Uh, well, we want it near water. Maybe like out over here, because it's kind of near this industrial section. And we could continue this road over here. Yeah, let's do it like around here somewhere. That'll be good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is build a road out this way. Alright, I'll come along the front like this. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go park... Oh, I already had parking. Parking. We're going to get like parking lots here at the front or something. I don't know. Just like here. Uh, so, you know, you can come along, park your car here if you're coming to work. Uh, I'm just going to level all this off a little bit because it's a little uneven. And then we're going to go for a flatten of this section. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And then from here, I guess we'll have, yeah, we also got the toll booth right there, which is good. And then we're going to have a road come through the facility. Let's just go straight down that way just because that's going to be probably easier. So we'll get rid of that for now. And let's figure out where all these buildings go, because I have no idea. So we've got the actual reactor. We only need one of these. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we can put it, like, here somewhere. Maybe, do I, do we, as I say, we don't really need these giant roads. Well, they're not giant, but they don't need to be that big, but I guess we'll use them anyway. Uh, so that's going to go down here somewhere. Great. So that's going to be our power. Then we've also got this other thing with the cookie monster on it that's floating. I feel like I'm missing some parts of this, or... I don't really know what it is. Uh, so we're not going to use that. And then we've got this. We've got a garage. Okay, what does this look like? What is it? Is it just a building that sort of tiles together? Probably. This does actually fit. Well, it doesn't actually fit there, but it kind of fits. Got a couple of those. Just a little bit of decoration. Nice. And then what else do we have? We've got a nuclear middle. Now, I'm sure if I looked it up, I'd probably see how all these fit together, but we're just going to kind of place them and then you guys can get mad about it. And how I did it wrong? Oh, it definitely looks like there needs to be a road through there. Maybe if I move this over so it goes over the road. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. I can't wait to see how wrong this is. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, I don't... Look, as long as it looks kind of cool, I'm fine with it. And then we're going to get some of these guys in. How much are these costing? They're only a thousand each, so it's not really anything. What's the difference between this one? It just goes the other way. Yeah. All right. Well, let me um get some more roads through here because I feel like we need some more access. And then this can come through to here. Straight along there. Hopefully we can get some at the back here of the other ones. Uh, and then it's going to go... I guess I probably should have just placed them... Well, hang on. This is getting confusing now. With that little sort of building on the corner. Let me just move this one too. Whoops. Oh, can I not select this now that I've placed it? I can select that. I guess the rest is not really a thing. That's fine. Let's do that. Okay, and then let me get rid of this one. I'll replace that one with... Oh, I see. It's because I think I placed it on a different road. That's kind of why it got a little weird. Okay, they're pretty close, but that's fine. They should probably have a bit more room between them, shouldn't they? 
Now let me select all of this. Select all this, these two, and then we're going to slide. Oh, and that maybe slide it out just a smidge. There we go. A little bit more space between. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Who wouldn't like this? And who doesn't think this is real? And then there's some pipes and stuff between them. I don't know. <laughs> These are just like little pipes that go places, I guess. Cool. And we got some uh, big aircon unit things. I don't know. Cool. They can go there. And we got a pump. Oh, actually, this could be good for the water. What about there? And there's a couple of pipes. Yeah. Here we go. I didn't even uh, plan for this, clearly, but that works. That works for me. Let's bring it in here a little bit so it's a little bit more like where that is. I'm gonna set them the same height, just lower that one down a little bit. Nice. Yeah, this is looking good. There we go, so they can go up there. And then I think maybe, get, I guess getting some offices around this place too would probably be useful. I'll lower that down a bit there. Cool, that goes there. I mean, that's probably already, I mean, everything about this is probably wrong. And then we're gonna get some cooling towers. I'm gonna guess we need like, well, I'm gonna say two, because just I feel like the only thing I know about nuclear power plants is The Simpsons. And that's not a great source of information regarding nuclear power plants, clearly. But if we get another one there, that'll be good. But that'll do. <laughs> that's how I'm gonna use my my knowledge. Okay, so we're gonna put this here just so I can get the road in the right spot. Get rid of these. And then get another cooling tower. Right about well, it needs to go there, but slide over a little bit. I'm wondering if these probably should have been connected to the water. I don't know. It's fine. Alright, actually, where... Can I align these two? Align mirror... Uh, align... No. How do you... I don't know how this alignment stuff works, clearly. I just want to line them up, like in Photoshop. But it's alright, we'll just do it this way. The old eyeballs. Good. And then these can be the same height. Great. And then we'll just connect that right up. No problem. There you go. Beautiful. And then we can get some more buildings in here if we want. Okay, now we power it all up, join all the pieces of the puzzle together with our super inaccurate power station that is kind of, I mean, it still looks kind of cool though. I mean, I, I kind of like it. <laughs> I kind of like it. So that's going to go there. Oh, and then water. Yeah, that's probably an important part. I think we do need that. So we'll come down here, come along, come straight down this way. There's only one building in this whole section that actually needs water. And it's that one in the middle. So that's good. All right, so I'll go down that. So then people can come down here and pay money to get in. That'll give us like a billion infinite powers. Uh, and that is the correct term. So now we're going to turn down our power budget all the way because we don't need that much. And we can go go start removing all the stupid ones that we placed uh, around the place. Like all the ones over here. Oh, did we already remove those? Oh no, we got a few of them still around here. <laughs> I was like, I know we moved to some of them because it was just dumb. But then we kind of just put them somewhere else. Okay, now we're not producing enough power, apparently. Apparently going all the way down is too little. So let's go maybe like 60%. That's probably enough, right? Uh, let's have a look. So 60% is going to give us... Yeah, plenty. Alright, we'll now start removing these. Uh, where else did we do? We did a few like wind farms. I like the wind farms. Uh, we got a few solar plants around the place. I'm gonna get rid of these ones, geothermal ones that were just plonked in here as well. And now that's disconnected the entire grid. That's not great. Uh, let's go here to there. And then I can come through here, I guess. And I'll just kind of weird the way that connects, but sure, whatever. Anyway, so that will connect back that up there. Then we've got, oh, that's our recycle plant. That's fine. So a nuclear power plant there. And then we just had a bunch of these in and around the place. We had like the solar plants and all that. That's fine. Okay, cool. And then apparently you've got no water. Uh, fair enough. That's a new area. Sweet. Okay, so that's going to go there. Power, not power. Water those guys. Got the nuclear power plant over here now. Oh, yeah. We got one, one person driving to it. Uh, and then I wouldn't mind, yeah, getting some offices or something here. Maybe down the bottom. Because uh, if this is the plant... And then maybe even some stuff here would be good. Because also, the more people we can get coming through here, the better. Because then they have to pay the toll. So, you know, that'd be pretty good. <laughs> so, you know, if we can get them to pay the toll, you know, I wouldn't mind. Alright, so let's do that. Let's see what offices we get if we just, like, plonk them down. Because if they look dumb, maybe we'll sort of refine them a little bit. But, 
that might be okay. So we'll do that. Uh, and then we can also sort of maybe mix in some more of these guys as well. Just the decorative buildings would be good. So I think like the, what was it? The garage was just decorative. That can actually fit in here maybe a little bit. It kind of overlaps the road, but can at least sort of border that. We'll bring it back a bit. Oh, actually, you know what? Hang on, leave that there. That might destroy that building because I've just done that. And that comes straight up there. Get rid of that bit. There you go. So it just goes around the car park like that. Beautiful. Oh, now they need water too. Fair enough. So I can come down here. All right. Nice. Now these buildings are going to be terrible, aren't they? They're going to be so bad. Uh, we're going to need... We probably actually should... Well, hang on. How much money are we spending slash making? <laughs> uh, let's get a fire department down here for the nuclear power plant because that's probably a good idea. And then police is probably fine. School and all that. Medical... I mean, the thing is, we don't really need it. I think the fire department is probably the most important one just to have down here. We could also get some commercial maybe, but it's really just an office area and power station. I mean, this is okay. I mean, these buildings don't really make much sense because clearly this is a modern installation. Also, this is probably way too close to this, but whatever. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, so that's giving us power. Uh, let's just keep checking... Good. Uh, and then Ikea, do they still have crime? Oh, they don't have crime right now. Give it a second, we'll have crime again. Uh, let's see, three, two, one, crime. No? Oh, okay, it's actually doing pretty well. Okay, and then the other thing I wanted to do, so we've sort of done this area a little bit. We want to do more through here too, obviously, but uh, that's all coming along. Do people, oh, people do use that one, and then people use this, I guess. Is this still getting planes? Because we have a lot of cargo areas right here, so I don't know how useful having that many close together is going to be. Uh, this one's still being used down here, which is good. Uh, but yeah, this is like a cargo hub, like of just every form of cargo that we could possibly have. So, actually, speaking of which, how how is the traffic? Oh, this area is pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. The rest of the city is probably terrible though. What is going on here? Yeah, actually, there's always been this weird section here where. Trucks and vehicles come to U-turn. I'm not really sure why. What are they doing here? There's like... They all come down here. Where are they? They're coming down and then they're... Are they, so they're trying to go here, I guess. It looks like they're trying to go to these parks, but they for some reason have to go around. And then it makes all these areas like really busy. <laughs> like everyone's going in there to use their roundabout. I don't know. I don't know why they insist on doing that. I don't know. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, that's fine. Um, and then... Oh, the other thing I wanted to do was back over here. I want to get this rail to come down through to here somewhere. I think a train station down here would be good. And I think this is probably the prime position to... Oh! Okay, I was going to say prime position to do an underground one, but I'm trying to get... There we go. An underground station, because we've already quite built up through here. And then if I just rotate it, so... Oh, so it goes along that road that we already had. That'll be perfect, and then we'll obviously tunnel underneath, uh, and then... Well, ideally I want to use this rail line here, but we're gonna have to go up the tunnel and probably come up... Here. I guess actually we don't need to use that line then, because that's a cargo line, so maybe we'll come up next to it and join up to that one. We'll see how we go, we'll see how we go. Alright, so I've just extended this. Also, intercity train should not be coming here, I've just realized that. Also, I'll do the same down here. So we've got the... Oh, I, I did extend it, but I have not connected that back up again. Oops. Uh, so let's just grab the regular road. Sorry guys, that's my bad. Hang on. Hold up. Sorry. Uh, there you go. All right, let's connect it back up again. That's my bad. That's on me. Uh, right, so that train station now comes all the way down to this sort of more high density center, which I think we already had some... Did we do bus lines in the end? I don't remember. Maybe we didn't. Oh, I don't think we did. I thought I did. Guess I didn't. Oops. Oh well, we got a train station now because we had a lot of people walking through here and I think we already have a bunch of people going down to the train station, which is great. Uh, we might need to do some more trains on that line because we only have two. Uh, but yeah, so that goes underground, sort of just tunnels around this corner. If we go down here, we can see it sort of goes like that, comes straight along. Then pops up over here next to the other rail and doesn't join it because I figured there's no point borrowing the same rail if we're not going to use it. Comes around under here, goes up and over to this train station right here. And then we sort of just had to redo this road that goes underneath so it's kind of a little bit more wiggly now, but it goes through. Let's have a look at the line details. We have quite a lot of people in this line. I'm going to actually add another train. I don't think there's a problem with the capacity of each train. I just think the frequency is probably pretty bad right now just because they're a bit far apart. And I think if we have a look at this line overall, uh, you know what? Let's also change the color of this line. Which one is this? It is train line two. We should probably get different colored train lines because it's getting confusing. 
Mm, let's get like just a blue or something. That's fine. Oh, train line four is also a blue. Uh, okay, no, let's not do blue. Let's do green. Yay, green! All right, let's go there. Uh, what? I will look at those ones later. Anyway, so this train line is our second most used, which is pretty good. So this one. Oh, I did need that. Uh, goes from now down here. Primrose Heights comes all the way around. It stops here in this area, whatever that is. Stops up here by the university or the liberal arts college. Comes down and it stops here as well at this main station. Comes through, expresses past, I think the other one here. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't stop there. We're getting a little backup of uh, cargo trains there. That's no good. Because that will block the line. I'm wondering if we could get... Because the green train goes there, but maybe it might actually have been better if we went on the other one. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, it comes down here and then stops at the main station. Great. So that is that. Oh, we're getting we're getting this main station built up. So the green line's actually kind of doing a big U at the moment. It comes all the way here, so it might even be quicker to get a, like a ferry. But having said that, from this point, we're going to bring it down and then it will sort of continue out over this way. So we'll continue going this way, but I think it was kind of important we get that extension. Just because I think there's, yeah, there's a lot of people that want to use this. Uh, already we have wait, what was that 125 people just sort of waiting for a train already like that's a lot of people to, uh, trying to get on the train from here which is great because that that's definitely what we want to see uh and then through this area i'm wondering if this should just be more i guess it should be more industrial i might just grab out a one-way road which is going to go here uh is that a weird angle uh, especially that bit uh <laughs> especially that bit uh, hang on. Okay, grid, snapping. I'm gonna keep that weird connection there just because if we do another intersection there, it'll be too much. Uh, so one way with parking, please, is actually what I wanted. There we go. So all the way through there, that sort of just gives us the ability to fill in this middle section uh, with more industrial, which is good. Uh, we've got a main road section there, so I'm thinking maybe just commercial in the section. Maybe even down there too. Because uh, we got a nice little commercial hub down by the water and some offices and all that. And then it's kind of gross industrial all through here. Uh, and then we got a nice residential area over this way. Look at this beautiful residential area. Nice views, waterfront views of all the sewage flowing out. Uh, if you look this way, it doesn't look so bad. But if you see that, then you're like, oh, right. Okay, that's kind of gross. But they don't see that, so it's fine. Um, all right, so I think that's going to probably do us to this part. Um, I do want to get on to... This is kind of just doing a few little things I've been meaning to do. Uh, I do want to get on to some of these more... Uh, I guess... What do you... I don't know. More in, I was going to say more industry industries. You know what I mean? Like The ones that we build ourselves that like we did in the last series. Like, oh, look how much oil we've got. Uh, oh, it's a bit loud there for you. Uh, yeah, so if we can do some of those, probably more like the farming ones, because that makes more sense for this map. So if we do some of these industries, I mean, we even had one here, but we should build up some more of those, especially around towns. Like if we were to build a town, I don't know, like out here with the wind farm or something, building industry around it would be kind of good, like all the farming. How's this going? Does this make us money? Yeah, upkeep 120, but how much do we get from it? I wish it told you when you clicked directly on it, because then you have to go like in here and then... Find it down here somewhere. Expenses. Uh, oh, it's one of these, isn't it? Is that, is that my road toll? Weekly toll income, 61. Right, we're not making the money back on our toll booth, which is 120. Uh, and then our other, I think we I think we only have two toll booths. I think it's that one, and then we have one here. And apparently, we're, how are we not making that money back? It's only 120. Anyway, I'm going to leave this part here, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I think I would like to... Well, I want to build up this area more and do those industries. And I think the ferries are coming along quite nicely too. I think they're all working pretty well. Oh, look at all these cars. And we should probably build up more of this uh, sort of downtown-ish area as well. I mean, it looks pretty good. I, I especially like this area. It's kind of like this... It's quite dense, but there's like all this different elevation going on through there as well. It looks really cool. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. And have an awesome day.